For this assignment, our group will be presenting the topic standard heat of formation and reaction. We will be covering two people related to our topic today. First, we have Germain Henri Hess. He published Hess's Law in 1840 where the law states that the amount of heat required to produce one chemical from another is always the same. Regardless the amount of steps needed, Hess's Law act as a basis to calculate the heat of reactions. The equation for Hess's Law is shown where we can find the net change in enthalpy through the sum change in enthalpy reactions. Thus, we can find the standard heat of formation and reaction using Hess's Law. Next, we have Gustav Robert Kirchhoff. He deduced Kirchhoff's Law of Thermochemistry in 1858 where it states the temperature derivative of delta H for a chemical reaction is given by the difference in heat capacity at constant pressure between products and reactants. We can evaluate the heat of reaction from one temperature to the other by integrating the equation above. The temperature derivative delta H for a chemical reaction can also be evaluated by the difference in heat capacity at constant volume between products and reactants. Based on Kirchhoff's Law, both products and reactants enthalpy increase since enthalpy of any substance increase with temperature. All in all, we can calculate the standard heat of formation and reaction by relating to the integration of Kirchhoff's Law of Thermochemistry. Standard heat of formation can be defined as the enthalpy change associated with the formation of one mole of a compound from its elements in their standard state at temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and pressure of 1 bar. If we get positive value answer, it means that the heat is absorbed from the surrounding. While the negative value answer indicate that the heat is given off to the surrounding, Standard heat of reaction is the enthalpy change that occurs in a system when a chemical reaction transforms one matter under standard condition. From the standard enthalpies of formation, we can also calculate the change in enthalpies for all reactants and products based on Hess's law. To find the standard heat of reaction we sum up the enthalpy for each product minus with sum of enthalpy of reactant. This is an example for endothermic reaction. A reaction that the system absorbs energy from its surroundings in the form of heat. This reaction is an exothermic reaction which releases energy from the system in the form of heat. The difference between both standard heats are standard heats of enthalpy give the change of enthalpy during the formation of compound while standard heat of reaction gives amount of heat either being added or removed from a system during a chemical reaction. Standard heat of formation help us to predict the reaction enthalpies for many reactions and standard heat of reaction is commonly being used in chemical development, scale up and much more. Next. Hess's law can determine the changes in enthalpy for a series of intermediate reaction steps to find the overall change in enthalpy for a reaction. The following will be the example to calculate the standard enthalpy change of formation for the given equation. First, we need to set the given value of standard enthalpy change of formation for each variables. Then the coefficient from the chemical equation also need to be considered. Calculate the standard enthalpy change of formation by subtracting the total enthalpy change of variable C with enthalpy change of variables A and B which is equal to 346 kilojoules. The next example will show how to calculate the standard enthalpy change of reaction of lead 2 sulfide react with oxygen at 25 degrees Celsius. Almost the same with previous equation where the coefficient from the chemical equation need to be considered. The standard enthalpy of formation for each compound can be found from any reference. After getting all the information, we can calculate the standard enthalpy of reaction by subtracting the total standard enthalpy of formation of products with the reactants. These are the results.